Good afternoon, viewers. This is Lisa in Connecticut, um, formerly Connecticut Garden Gal. I've recently changed my username to Connecticut Worms and Gardens because a lot of the potential subscribers weren't finding my channel since it didn't mention worms, and that is a large part of what my YouTube comment, YouTube content is about. So we're looking here inside the bin that contains my um, Indian blue worms and I did a video three days ago showing how I had stopped feeding this bin for a few weeks and there was very little very little material left and all I had put in and buried was a pretty large chunk of pumpkin I wanted to, I did that because I wanted the worms to migrate down there because I need some of these castings for some um, fall bulbs and other plants that I'm putting outside. So it's been three days and I said I would do a, a three day update and that's what I'm going to do. So I guess I'll start down at the end where the worms should have been coming from and work my way down to where I hope they went to. You, you can see that I've thrown some other scraps on top. I haven't dug into this bin at all. I've left it completely undisturbed. Um, there's still a the little hosta plant buried down in there. I've just, I threw some, a few leaves from my butterfly bush and a banana peel. But other than that, I haven't touched this bin. And I'm hoping that the worms have, you know, moved mostly down to the pumpkin that's buried there so that I can get these castings out. So without further delay, um, let me turn this a little bit so you can see what I can see as I go through this and hopefully the results are going to be good. So this is the castings and the castings are really really nice. They're not overly wet. They're not overly dry. Their the color is really nice. There's a little worm, little worm guy. Oh wait, that's not a worm. That's a stem or a root. So no worm there. I'm not going to do every handful. That was just to show you what the castings are looking like. Um, actually right now I'm not, I'm not seeing worms. This is strange. I ex expected a lot of them to go to that pumpkin since they hadn't been fed in a while. But I'm assuming they all went to the pumpkin or they all ran away. But since I haven't found crunchy worms on the floor, that's not the case. Oh, I saw a worm. I did see a worm. I'm sure you saw it too. I don't need to find it. But this is, I'm impressed. I mean, they have to have, you know, we have, we have a guy, gal, friend, your friend, go down there since that seems to be where the party's at. I'm just moving slowly. There's an area, I think right about here where I put, um, a layer of paper and coconut coir that I covered the pumpkin with, which has to be where the worms are at. I just never expected in three days for them all to go down there. You can look back at the video. I'll put a link to it. And the, this end was loaded with worms. I mean, this, I'm, I'm a little bit at a loss for words here because they don't usually... Worms don't usually move this fast, but I'm just not seeing them in here. Makes makes harvesting a whole lot easier. I don't want to start flipping this back that way because I don't want the worms to end up back down there. So let me just sort of scrape, scrape away here. Yeah, let me move this. Oh, this is the uh, the hosta. 
Now, you can see all these little white roots. This this thing was dead, as I mentioned in the prior video. I had, I had this just in a little pot. It was new, it was something I got on eBay. And it had fallen off my deck without me realizing it and fell behind the raised bed where my strawberries are. And it was dead. So I buried the root in here. You can see all these new white roots. It is absolutely alive. So while it may have looked dead, it's not. I guess now I can plant it outside. I'm sure if I broke this apart, there'd be lots and lots of babies because they love the roots. Okay, worms, you have to be here because you're not anywhere else. I think there's going to be one heck of a worm ball here. Oh, I've already... I moved the salamander um, to my African nightcrawler bin. He was under here a couple days ago, but since I knew I'd be harvesting this bin and pulling everything out, I didn't want to disturb little Sally. So Sally's not under that shell. All right, I'm going to try to get this overpriced junky phone to focus. Okay, so here's some of the fresh paper. I don't want to flip it down the other end. I'll just pile it up in the corner. How about that? I'm starting to see worms, signs of life. At least there's worms in here. Oh, that's a pretty good thing. Okay, I'm getting into, let me, I'm going to zoom in more. You won't get a wide view, but you should get a detailed view. Because I can see the pumpkin. I'm just piling. I think I zoomed in too much. If anyone has camera tips, please leave them. I'm working with a phone, a Galaxy phone, and it's all I have right now. But, and I'm also sitting on my kitchen floor, and the lighting isn't great, and there's nothing I can do about that. I have a overhead craft lamp on. Okay, worms, now, where are y'all? Just gonna go ahead and lift this because I think I have to be in here. Hey, we found worms. Yep, looks like worms to me. Got worms. Yes, I do. And uh, cocoons, too. That's certainly not all of them. So there has to be more. I guess they're all throughout this bedding. Now I can see another. Another gathering here. Remember, this, this bin... Is only four months old, and I started with about 50 worms. So I'd say I'm doing pretty darn good here. They've re reproduced, unlike I've ever seen in any worm species. And they're looking good, so I guess they really like pumpkin. You see that fat guy there? He don't even want to move. It's not concerned about the light. It just wants its feast. It's getting getting mushy. I think another few days, it'll be soft enough where they're going to be just be going crazy. So these worms did amazing migrating down in three days. I went from having most of the worms scattered throughout the bin to having all but one down on the food. I've never seen worms migrate that quickly. And I'm loving these Indian blues. My only regret is not starting with them sooner. 
because you know they are not flighty they are not finicky they don't care what the weather is I can't comment on temperature because they've been pretty much at the same temperature inside um, I did have them outside for a little bit when I first got them when I when they were infested with worms from the shipper but other than that they've been inside but they reproduce like that's the only thing there is to do and the castings the castings they made are they made rapidly I mean to have a starting count of 50 worms make a tote bin of castings in four months and multiply times whatever is pretty damn impressive pretty dang impressive sorry about that I see even below the pumpkin and this, this all started with 50 worms I feel squishy stuff. I feel squishy stuff. It could be bad, it could be good. In this case, it's good. And you know, they're not they're not the biggest worms in the world, the Indian blue worms, but I think they have a bigger appetite than than any other worm I've I've raised. So they're all they're all in here um just doing what they do the most important thing is they're not down there so before they before they scatter because i've just disrupted them i'm gonna go ahead and start hauling out some some handfuls of that the finished castings because i need them i've already had shredded cardboard and coconut coir soaking in rainwater. I use, oh wait, here's more pumpkin. I use only rainwater. I figured in the wild where any species of worms come from, they're not getting chlorine and fluoride coming out of the sky. And I don't have a well. I'm on city water, so public water. So, aha. Some more pumpkin. So that's, um, look at that. That's awesome. Come on, a big thumbs up, but who else thinks worms are awesome? Or worms do and what worms do is awesome. You got little ones, you got big ones, you got medium ones, fat ones. And... I see a couple of little pot worms in there. Not an explosion. I see three, and that's perfectly okay. This is a pumpkin. I would expect them to be there. I'm just squishing into them just to kind of show the various ages and stages. So amongst all these that we've piled up down here, now I've encountered this additional worm ball. It feels like one of those stress balls. Of course, you can't squeeze it, but the feeling is actually pretty cool. And of course, they're on. They're everywhere now. They're just thinking, where's my pumpkin? Dang it, I was having a feast. Here, I'll put that pumpkin up here. You can see there's, there's lots more around and on and near the pumpkin and probably in the surrounding castings. Yep, so there's the worms, folks. All right, this video was long enough. It was longer than I intended it to be. Oh, wait, I just found another worm ball. So I'm impressed. Four months, 50 worms turned into everything we've viewed here in this video. If any, any of you could estimate the population now I mean you'd have to go back and rewatch the video um, it's a few hundred I don't know maybe 500 I would say maybe more because there's so many that are just 
brand new. I mean, the amount of youngins in here are impressive. They breed like it's nobody's business. And I guess it is nobody's business. Look at this. I mean, you could see all these are young. They're all young. Well, there's one adult there, but the rest are all... They're all newbies. And no, that's not a cluster of mites on there. That's um, pulverized oyster shell that I use as grit. I, in one other video, someone saw the white clusters on a piece of paper and said, Oh, you got a mite infestation. No, it's powdered oyster shell. But that one, one fat one there with the band is clearly ready to breed. Ready to feed and ready to breed. That's what I want my worms to be doing. And apparently, they're doing a good job of both. So, well, I've completely made a mess out of this bin from what we started with. But I did get to show what I was hoping to show, which is that in three days, the entire bin, except one worm, migrated all the way down to this small area if I zoom out and turn it that way so they went from here down here down here down here all the way to this line and that's where they all are now sorry guy all right folks well leave me comments feedback opinions questions and I'm going to get busy taking this half out before the worms in their little frenzy scoop back down here. Again, thank you for watching. If you like what you see and want to see more, please subscribe and select the notification bell for updates. And if you know someone that you think would enjoy my channel, please share it and I will be viewing with you again soon. Have a wonderful day, stay safe, and keep your worms happy. Super, super quick update. It's been 10 minutes since we just went through this bin, and I rough and crudely dragged out the castings. Now, this is a 24-inch by 12-inch, yeah, 24 by, no, 24 by 18 boot tray, and the castings are this deep and there's no worms if there's any oh there's one cat be quiet there's no worms so my entire bin I see one is that a worm that's a stem my entire bin migrated in three days Holy cow, yes, I'm making a mess on my floor, but I want to do this so that y'all can see I haven't had, oh, there's one worm, so there's two out of, I'm going to say there's at least a thousand in there. Um, when I was piling up the stuff, I kind of got a, a brief overview of the handfuls. I mean, you can see I can bury my, I can bury my arm in this. This is beautiful, and Yes, now it's all over the kitchen floor, but that's okay. It's a lot healthier than a lot of things that would be on many kitchen floors. So I'm going to be just going through this, getting out some of the cocoons. And I just wanted to show you all that um, they did, in fact, migrate. There's not worms in here. There were two. There were two. Wait, I think that's a worm. A baby? Yes, it is. So three. Out of this mountain, there were three worms that didn't migrate. Now, what I did is I piled it up because even though there's a lot of unfinished material there, I want to sift the the dry, I want the worms to go to the bottom so I can sift the material, take out the castings, and leave just the unfinished material in the bottom. Okay, guys, again, see you soon.